Hello viewers. Uh, nowadays, people who are suffering with chronic prostatitis, uh, they come to us with uh, history of taking lot of antibiotics. In fact, we have seen patients who are on antibiotics from years together. So now, uh, recently I have seen one patient, he is on antibiotics since last six and a half years. And every day, every day he takes an antibiotic, he says, without taking antibiotic, his symptoms will come back. So now, people with chronic prostatitis, it is, chronic prostatitis itself is a chronic uh, complex issue. There are various uh, ways you get chronic prostatitis. It can be uh, infections in the large bowel, it can be sexually transmitted disease, uh, it can be urinary infection. So diagnosing prostatitis is little bit tricky. Uh, only few, uh, only in few patients you can easily diagnose. In some patients it is tricky to diagnose. Now, okay, if you are having all these chronic prostatitis symptoms and all your urine tests are okay, so now what is the ideal way of treating chronic prostatitis? Nowadays, okay, one way is to give high dose antibiotics, but high dose antibiotics will kill your sperm. It's not good for your liver, they are not good for your kidneys. So now what should you do? So one way is to treat with low dose long term antibiotic therapy along with anti-inflammatory medications. But in some patients even this may not work. So they take one month, two months antibiotics, but still if the problem persists, then the only way because there is no surgery for this, the only way to treat is treat this is shockwave therapy. Shockwave therapy means this is a wave therapy where these shock waves are directly given to the uh, prostatic area. It is a non-invasive therapy. Uh, it takes only 5 to 10 minutes uh, per session and approximately 10, uh, 10 minutes. And this is a painless therapy and no probe is uh, put inside your body. It is through the skin. They just put the probe in your peri perineal area and they send the waves. And you have to take 4 to 8 sessions of uh, the shockwave therapy for prostatitis. And these sessions can be on alternate days or once in 3 days or once in 4 days. But shockwave therapy for erectile dysfunction is different. There maximum once in 4 days or once in 5 days or once in a week you have to take therapy because there you have to, uh, you are expecting new blood vessel production in the penis. But in chronic prostatitis, uh, since this is for anti-inflammatory effect, so now this can be given on alternate days also. And this therapy now, this has gained attention uh, uh, of doctors in various uh, countries. Now this has come become mainstream treatment for chronic prostatitis. So this has to be uh, this is nowadays easily available in many metro cities, but this has to reach small towns. Now people who are in metro cities, this is a boon. Uh, it's the easiest way to uh, treat chronic prostatitis. And what will happen when they take uh, chronic prostatitis? When these shock waves they uh, reach the prostate area, they'll have anti-inflammatory effect. They increase blood supply in the prostate, and uh, the, uh, when you are taking antibiotics for prostate, the most difficult part is uh, even when you start antibiotic, the reach of antibiotics to the core of the prostatic tissue is only after 10 to 15 days of starting antibiotic therapy. That means if you start antibiotic today, these antibiotics will reach the inner area of prostate only after 15 days. So that means you have to keep continuing this antibiotic. But if the blood supply increases in the prostate, then you uh, this antibiotics or anti-inflammatory medications, whatever you are taking, they reach the inner area of the prostate easily and they help in the uh, curing of this prostatic inflammation. So viewers, if you have any doubt about uh, chronic prostatitis, please post it in comment section. We will try to make videos regarding the topic. Thank you.